You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Wing Gaming. I'm sitting here on Twitter, the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Minotaur Hotel. So y'all, before, ooh, excuse me, so y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server, and full access to upcoming non safe for work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm, Jenny, we're up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> Leader. At least I can take is five. Three is nowhere near enough, and you know it. You hold all the cards, and it's not a fun game if it's one-sided. At least I can take is five. Hmm, I can, again, just leave things as is, can't I? But where's the fun in that? That... Hmm, yes, I suppose you are right. Fine. I will allow five interruptions. I will repeat my terms, then. Just last night, after I finished my prayers and rites, I found a bottle of wine. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Okay. Now, I thought about giving it to you, after all. You are the Lord, but why not take this as a fun bonding moment? I shall give it to you, if you do this one specific thing for me. Huh. Huh? Uh, question statement. Can I just order you to give it to me? Aren't you my servant as well? Oh, is the master now eager to impose his will upon this humble servant? Ah, how I long for such a day to come, to be used and ordered around. Alas, I am no servant like the heifer. I serve a God-given mission above all else, and obey the master only in so far as his will leads to it. And I have my own discretion as well, my lord. Suffice it to say, I am not strictly obliged to obey you. It is in my compliance, if it is my compliance you seek, then you must meet me halfway. Okay. I want you to prove your piety to the divine. After all, the realms of master is supposed to serve them and enact their will, is he not? In ancient times, a hecatomb would be enacted, a hundred bulls would be sacrificed to the gods. But today's humans seldom enjoy getting their hands dirty. Here's what must be done. Further to the east, you shall find a dry riverbed beside an old, broken-down set of kilns. There you'll find a fitting sacrifice. There should be a bundle with a hardened lump, not too different from coal, inside the most decayed of all kilns. How do I know that's going to be there? You can trust me. I left it there myself for you to find, my good lord. It should be easy to find. It's just sitting there inside the broken kiln. It was used for cooking clay pots long ago, but it's useless now. Just open it up and the sacrifice will be in front of the door. May I add, there are some other trinkets behind the kilns, too, if you want to check that out. That sounds needlessly convoluted. Why didn't you just give it to me? Why do I have to go all the way there to find it? To test your faith, of course. A sacrifice is only worth the effort required to perform it. If I just gave it to you, it would be no sacrifice at all. You must take the offering and burn it, dedicating it to the divine. Oh, let me go back. Question. There's no other way to sacrifice it? Absolutely not. Since ancient times, that is how flesh has been dedicated to the gods. There you know. Hmm. That water's down. To the south of the hotel, and the valley goes further down, until it reaches a plateau. There is a path to its top, where you will find shrines to a few deities. Objection! To the south? That sounds very vague. Worry not, my lord. Shortly I will tell you how to reach it. I wish to verify your dedication to the Olympians above all else. I have no interest in seeing you getting lost, as that would only detract from my goal. Worry not about such details, master. Old majestic shrines to the gods, created by the deities themselves when this realm was born. Pick any of the god-made shrines and burn the offering. One of the god-made shrines? Are you implying one of them is not god-made? Perhaps. Oh my, aren't you a sharp one? One of the shrines, the smallest, shyest one by far, is dedicated to some forgotten deity dating back to who knows when. Such a diminutive thing. It's just a cairn, a pile of rocks with length of fabric tied around it. I suppose it's some ancient form of worship. Whatever it is, I assure you it pays no homage to the Olympians, and that should be reason alone to avoid it. Worst of all, I'm afraid it was erected by the bull himself. It bears no legitimacy. Ignore it. I have no duty to give you the bottle should you offer the sacrifice to it. With that said, any one of the god main shrines will do, and I really do mean it. I hope you're satisfied with your inquiries, Master. 
So, that's the task at hand, then. Make a sacrifice and prove my piety to the gods. And then you will give me the bottle? Haven't I kept my word so far, Master? I'll think about it. Maybe I should ask Asterion. Get a heads up on what I might find there. Must you always involve the prisoner in all of your affairs? Very well, then. Go back to the creature. However, when you climb up the stairs and up to your hotel, make sure to climb two steps at a time. After all, I don't know how much longer I can keep holding on to this bottle without letting it slip and shatter. I can be so clumsy sometimes. Excuse me? Yes, I do think that is a thing that might happen if your devotion to the gods is not proven in... Let's say two days. Does that work for you? Wait, two days? You can't be serious, that wasn't part of the deal! Oh, so you think piety is something someone can procrastinate on, is it? Well, that's just wonderful, some master you are. You know, I'm beginning to have second thoughts about this bottle. Maybe you really are not worthy after all. Say, I am feeling awfully thirsty this morning. Fine. Two days it is, so long as you don't make any more, up any more stupid rules. Do we have a deal? The snake slithers closer to you. You flinch for a second, but when you look back, you see his hand outstretched towards you. Argo sports the widest grin he's ever given you so far. I don't like Argos very much. He is literally a sneaky snake. Sounds good to me, Master. You're out of options, and whatever loops he might make you jump through are worth the reward. You shake Argos' hand, but you make your disgust clear by wrenching your hand out of his grip when it's over. The serpent laughs at you. Well then, no time to waste. Up you go! You turn around and start walking back towards the cave. This is not how you expected your morning to start. As you make your way, Argos's words echo in your head, and the full weight of the task at hand begins to dawn on you. As you recall his last line, you notice your feet are picking up the pace. By the time you make it to the staircase, you're at a full-on sprint. You curse the shit. You curse the snake as you indeed climb two steps at a time, just like he said you would. Things are off to a bad start. You haven't even begun your task, and you're already jumping through Argos's hoops. You arrive at the master's quarters, where Asterion is already dressed and waiting for you with a somber face. He's biting his lip, holding himself from asking any questions while you catch your breath. Good morning, Asterion. Good morning, master. How did it go? Well, I have good news and bad news. You catch Asterion up on everything Argos told you. The contract, the bottle, your task, and the two-day limit. You expected him to perk up when hearing about the wine bottle, but it seems like he contained his excitement, as if he was expecting the inevitable caveat. So, yes, we have two days to go get the bottle. I decided to come ask you, well, ask you what I'd be up against instead of going to the labyrinth right away. Asterion ponders on the situation for a moment before his face eases into a smile. Strained, with a lot of baggage behind it, but a smile, a smile nonetheless. I appreciate your concern, Master, but I don't think that bottle is worth the trouble. The labyrinth houses a lot of dangers, and I would rather you be spared from. I can heal just fine on my own. It will just take longer. No, I mean it. If it can help you get back to your former self, I will do everything I can. There's also the matter of the internet project. I think well, this will distract us from getting it finished. I fear that if we do not focus on it, we will lose some guests, or even worse, fail to attract them in the first place. But this is urgent. We have a dilemma on our hands, then. If we have to choose between one or the other, I suggest we focus on the internet project. Hmm. Wait a minute. Maybe we can multitask. Multitask? Well, we have you, Luke, and me. Maybe we can split the task between us three. Asterion flinches. I would very much prefer not to be sent to the Valley Master. Besides, I had a conversation with Coda. I know he's upset with Luke, but maybe he can help with the other task. I know he has issues, but after last night, he might be willing to help. That sounds like a good idea. Maybe we should all meet at the lobby, then. As you command, Master. I will go look for them right away. Hmm. Half an hour later. Second, y'all. Hmm. Oh god. That water is so good. This is preposterous. The nerve! I am more than happy to help with whatever you need, Mr. Alexios. After all, I am enjoying your hospitality free of charge. But I at least expect a modicum of respect. So far, 15 minutes of my time have been wasted by this oaf. Coda, I know you're both upset at each other, but can we please keep it civil? This is important. All I am saying is, we can get started right away, just you, Asterion, and I. I cannot fathom any task that cannot be performed without... Oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, good morning, Mr. Asterion. Uh, good morning, Mr. Walker.
Yeah, shut your trap. Don't act like I didn't just hear you talking shit. Howdy, Alexios. Sorry for the delay. Starion took his sweet time finding me. It wasn't exactly in my room, let's just say. So, what's this about? Well, we have a situation on our hands. As you're both aware, we're doing everything possible to establish an internet connection in the hotel. Ah, oh, that is wonderful to hear. I am sure that we'll appease some of the guests. It's quite the common complaint I hear in the hallways. It is, but we seem to have stumbled into another problem that needs our attention. It looks like we're understaffed, which is why we called you, Coda. The Master will be going to the valley below the hotel today, and could use some assistance with it. And we also need to work on establishing the internet connection. There's three of us. I think we can be split into two teams. One will work on research and development, the other will go explore the valley. Well, count, my, count on me, Alexios. Sure. As long as he's far away from me. Well, I'll be, for once we agree on something. Sure, I think we can manage. Watch exploration tutorial? Oh, cool. Exploring the labyrinth works in a similar way to R&D projects. Your guests now have four additional, ta additional sets. Artifacts, mementos, surveying, and danger. The artifact stat affects your likeness, to likeness likeliness to encounter items that may boost your stats. Mementos will work towards finding old items that may have revealed some insight on Asterion's past. Surveying acts differently. Surveying will yield random rewards. The higher the stat is, the more you may find. Surveying may also contribute toward artifact and mementos rewards. Artifact, mementos, and surveying are also cumulative. If you don't find an item on one run, your unspent points will be available next session. One last thing. Keep an eye on your danger stat. If danger is the highest total stat in your exploration team, there's a chance the Labyrinth's forces will attack your guests. Oh, what was that? On your danger set. Here's the highest total stat in your exploration. Okay. This may leave your guests unavailable for a couple of days. If this happens, you won't be able to assign them to a team, so it's not worth the risk. Remember, you can split your guests any way you want between teams. Alright. Alright. Um. Go on, guess to see stats and reassign him. Unassigned. He is zero danger. Good. Con okay, contract tech. So, good memento and good artifact, but no surveying or danger. That's like, no. Alright. Alright. I think that's pretty good for now. So, these two will be on the R&D team. Oh, oh, danger four. He's really not meant to go into the labyrinth then. Hmm. Danger two. The labyrinth is like, nope. We don't want this guy either. Okay. Firm selection. With the four of you assigned to your roles, you better stare in and look farewell as Coda and you head towards the staircase leading to the valley. Hmm. That's a pretty cool mechanic. The valley is laid bare ahead of you in all its curves. Rivers and rock strata snake across the landscape, guiding your vision to the orange and blue horizon. The air is somehow both chilly and humid. It blows against your chest and crawls around to your spine, making your hair stand up and your cheeks flush. The days spent inside the hotel have left you used to its sterile, stagnant odors. This land defies that entirely. The very scent is alive. A thick cloud of petrichor wafts up as if a light drizzle had just fallen over the valley, along with the scent of herbs and shallow vegetation. You can't help but shiver as you take the final step towards the sun and out into this God's forsaken land. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for something to your ultimate tier anyway. If you all want to get your names in the credits, get access to not safe for contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye